In this video, we're going to discuss how we can generate 3D models using 2D drawings and DWGs. As you can see here, we have a DWG uh, with the profiles that we'll be extruding uh, to create our three-dimensional geometry. Um, so in order to uh, begin here, we're going to start by creating a sketch and then uh, we're going to right click and import our DWG. Make sure we have inches, select OK. Now that we have our DWG, uh, we're going to highlight our profile here. Right click and uh, copy that. We're going to go off into space and create another 2D sketch. And uh, right click and paste our profile. And uh, once we have our profile, we're going to right click it and go to create. And we're going to create an extrusion here. Um, in terms of the extrusion, we're going to have six as our units here. And as you can see, we've extruded our profile into a 3D figure here. All right. Um, from this part here, we're going to go back to our DWG here and uh, edit it. And uh, we're going to select our second profile to be extruded. Copy that. And this time we're going to create a sketch uh, on our part here. And we'll right click and paste that. And um, now we're going to place a point where we would like to place our uh, profile. And I'm going to select move and select the corner and drag it to our location. Press OK. And for uh, this example here, we only want the circular geometry, so we'll select that. And uh, we're going to de delete the, the rest of the geometry here. And as you can see, it's been deleted. Now we're going to go ahead and create an extrusion of our circular geometry. This time it'll be removing material. And we'll set that up to 50 depth. And we're going to have to reverse the direction here. So we'll do that as well. I'm going to select OK. And now we've created our whole geometry. Um, for this next part here, we could either select our other uh, profile. Um, but for the interest of speed, I'm going to select our tri ball, unlock it, and uh, place it on the fillet, rotate it, and copy it over. 90 degrees and there you have it um, that's how we would be able to create 3d geometry uh, using 2d profiles within IronCAD